death stalks you in the Narwood. Hey, Curselings, Curse Lord Todd here with another exciting unboxing video for you today. I got Warhammer Age of Sigmar War Cry, the Sundered Fate box set. We get this awesome with the Chameleon Skinks and the Zinch Warriors for Warcry, these two new warbands. Let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look inside. So this set also comes with a ton of really cool terrain, which I will show you right here. Let's go ahead and lower this down. So get a better look at this. All right, so here's the terrain right here. Uh, you got more Narwoods, more platforms. This is different than the uh, than the first expansion, or the, I'm sorry, the first set for Warcry, the Heart of Gur. So these are different uh, pieces of terrain. So if you have that set, this set will mesh with it real well. And uh, I have a feeling by the time all four of these sets come out, you'll have a nice gur themed uh set of terrain if you get all four of them that you can play with your games of warhammer age of sigmar <clears throat> like how this one has a little canopy over that that that's cool so yeah i mean not much really to say on on here uh, i don't know very much about what these terrain pieces do yet But we got more trees, more platforms. We'll see what happens. More grr. <laughs> I just like saying that. Grr, right? We're in the heart of grr. So this area here is an old sprue from the last set. You got the, um, the rope bridges. You got the barricades. And, uh, you know, these, these this is, it looks like it's going to be a universal, um, sprue throughout the the whole season all right so let's go ahead and get started with uh with the sprues now let's see i believe these are the warriors of the jade alveolus yes i just had to look at the back to figure that out forgive me don't remember everything. Um, so this is the new Chaos Warband that's coming with this set. And uh, these are worshippers of Zinch. And they actually can be used in a Disciple of Zinch army. You can uh, find the rules for that on the website and on the app. And these guys are really cool. They even come with a little Zinch bird thing that they can, I guess, summon or, or bring to, with them on the battlefield. Um, lot, they're, they're tough. They got a lot of rock options. They even have some bows, which let's face it. We don't see very many chaos guys with, with ranged. They're usually all close combat. And this is what I'm really excited for this set. The hunters of Hitachi or Hetchi or whatever you call it, which are the chameleon skin set. This is awesome. Finally, some new Seraphon. I am, would, have been itching for new Seraphon for a long, long time and really excited about the set. Rumor has it that new Seraphon are coming this year. I know in the upcoming preview for Games Workshop, they've teased it. So I'm very excited to watch that preview and see all the Seraphon goodness. So this comes with 10 Chameleon Skinks plus three Ripperdons or Pterodons or whatever you want to call them. So you got three little beasties in there for him as well. So very cool, very awesome. I really cannot wait to get these guys together. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I will have them together fast enough for uh, for this video. Um, so I'll probably just go ahead. I love this artwork too. This artwork is really, really cool. So I'll probably just go ahead and get this video posted. And then when I have everything built, do another video later of... Um, of everything all put together. So here we have the cards. I'm not going to bust these open for you, but you have your... the These uh, cards mix in with your Heart of Gur cards. 
And so you got your your deployment, your objectives, your tricks, your twists, all those things. Plus you also have the um man, I can't think. <laughs> the warrior cards for your stats for your for your war bands in there. And then we have of course we have bases. Can't go anywhere without bases, and then we have the books. Books and the big cards for the stuff. And then last but not least, your board. Because you got to have a board to play on. All right, let me see about opening this up so we can at least flip through the book. Whoop. All right. <clears throat> so we'll start out with the cards first. So we have the, the Hunters of Hinashi, which is a really cool, we can say you got all those chameleon skinks there, plus the, they're called Terra Wings, which are cool still. Yeah, I butchered the name, sorry. You also have all their special abilities here. And their reaction right here. And then we have the Jade Obelisk. Really do like these. I, I like the multiple poses for the Priestess. And I'm sure that, as with all Warcry sets that they've had, these guys usually have tons of options that you can do when building them, which we're going to look at right now. I'll look at the book for... No, you know what? We'll look at the instructions first. All right, so you got your. All right. Got the Hunters of Hitachi first. Looks like this is the Chameleon Skink Alpha. You have a choice of either putting him with a Moonstone Club or with a Dart Pipe. And then right down here, you have. Hanashi's Claw, which has that really cool uh, helmet skull on it, and then regular dart pipe. So yeah, just as, just as I thought, there are many ways to building these guys up. So you can do just generic guys with dart pipes, or you can do the specialized ones as well, which is really, really cool. And then even the regular warriors have multiple ways to build as well. Then you have the terror wings, but it looks like these guys are just pretty much uniform how they go. And then we have the Jade Obelisk. So it looks like only the Alpha here are the Priestess. No, oh, look at this. Yep. So yeah, you got tons of options. You got picks, you got axes or hammers. Uh, statue Crusher hammers they're called. Very cool. And then over here you got your, your idol arc, which is a crazy bird thing. You got bows, stone cutter tools. Yep, lots of options. And then of course you have the train. We're just gonna flip through this real quick to look at the train. Very cool train sets. Man, see, look, I love how how detailed these train sets are. They're very, very, very cool. I mean, look at that. That thing just, that thing's going to be massive. I can just tell. Because that, looking at it from right here, it looks like it's at least two sprues of that uh, of building. You got the other piece of terrain right here. <clears throat> so lot, lots of, lots of stuff here. So there's that one fully built up. I guess it's, yeah. So there's the two, the first one and the second one right there. And then there's the third one right there. So yeah, very awesome, very cool set. So let's go ahead and flip through the book real quick. Not gonna spend too much time on here. So this is Stealth and Stone. This is more likely gonna be released separately. Tells you the story. Let's 
Got some great art in there. Rules for the for the uh, terrain sets. Not ox. And there's those things put together and painted. Looking beautiful. Rope bridges. And then of course you have your campaign. So that is it. Ooh, a campaign tree. Very nice. And right here, they even, I like how they have all the cards on the back here for you. So in case you lose one, you can just roll dice for it. So. All right. So that is Warcry Sundered Fate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see any of our upcoming videos. Stay tuned. We're going to try and have more videos come out as we can. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.